And the tools you need to index your rear mech, a crosshead or a Phillips screwdriver, five millimeter Allen key, a pair of slimline or needle nose pliers, and a cable tensioner. The cable tensioner is not essential. You can do the job with a pair of pliers, but it does make the job a lot easier. On the rear mech, there's three points of adjustment, plus the actual cable tension as well. So what we've done here is we've undone the cable using the five millimeter Allen key, so the cable's completely independent of the mech, enabling us to just show you what each of the adjustment screws does and how to use them. Now the high is a screw marked H on the mech itself, and this adjusts the rear mech that hangs directly below the smallest or the highest gear, um, and the jockey wheel at the top of the cage needs to line up with that in order for the gears to work properly. Now, as you can see on this bike at the moment, it's actually sitting on the second sprocket in. So I need to make an adjustment to that screw counterclockwise in order for the mech to line up properly and the gear to drop down. With the high screw adjusted, you can see that the upper jockey wheel is perfectly in line with the smallest or the highest sprocket. This is where you want to be to start your indexing. The next movement is to look at the lowest or the biggest sprocket. Because there's no cable tension, manually manipulate the mech up into the biggest or the lowest sprocket. So all the way out here, and you see the chain tried to jump off the outside there. The stop isn't set enough, so if you tried to pedal, the chain would hop over and you'd foul the spokes and potentially damage your wheel. Go to this lower screw, and you screw it in until the upper jockey wheel is completely underneath it. So once that adjustment is made, you should just cycle the mech through the gears manually again to ensure that it doesn't jump too far, but it actually jumps onto the biggest sprocket. So the next stage is to put cable tension on and adjust this tension. Make sure that the barrel adjuster on your shifter is fully screwed into the shifter so it's got as much movement to undo like counterclockwise as possible. And then just pull the cable through the cable stop on the bike and then nip it up tight. You can use the cable tensioner to do this, but you're literally only pulling it home. You don't need to actually put tension on it. So do up the clamp with a five millimeter. And then before you cut the cable, just check You've got enough there to go through the gears. And you want to leave approximately an inch, cut that. And yeah, make sure you get a nice end cap on the end to uh, stop it fraying in future. Now the indexing refers to each click on the shifter and the amount of cable it pulls to move the mech in correlation to that. Now with Shimano and SRAM drivetrains, you'll find you only really need to adjust them so the chain shifts cleanly up and down to the fourth sprocket because all the sprockets are equally spaced. So if we just cycle the pedals around and we hit it once for a single click, in theory, the chain should jump up one, which it actually does perfectly in this case. If the chain doesn't jump up that single sprocket cleanly, counter turn your barrel adjuster, quarter turn at a time until it does. And then ensure that it smoothly transits back down again. Okay, so it successfully jumps up onto the first sprocket, and we're just going to try this up to the fourth, fifth, and back down again. So that suggests that it's actually going a little bit too far. So you need to reduce some of the cable tension by screwing the barrel just to back in again. So that's pretty much perfect shifting. So we'll keep going and we'll check it all the way to the top of the block. Click each time. Okay, so B tension now. This screw at the back here and it adjusts the height of the upper jockey wheel from the cassette. And with minimal B tension on, you can see that the rear mech and the jockey is actually fouling the cassette. So you need some tension screwed in clockwise. See straight away that's quieter. You want to bring the mech away from that. So your rear derailleur and your, and your gears fully indexed there. Working smoothly. But you might have noticed there's some slight noise. That's coming from the front derailleur or the front neck. That's in another tutorial for you. 